KFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently got a slightly mixed bag out here. You've got two indices trading higher. The Russell's up nine and the NASDAQ composite is up nine. Otherwise, the other indices trading lower. Dow's down 52, S&P 6, NASDAQ 100, nine points. Semis are off nine. Uh, semis uh, should form a bottom. I think today's bar seven or eight. Uh, so between uh, if it's seven, uh, it should form a bottom by Friday out there. So keep an eye on the uh, semiconductor index. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand side. Yesterday, the profile we were looking at uh, when we came on the air and we said, hey, everybody thinks the uh, market is going to just simply fold and crash. And I was sharing with you. No, the market was back at support the bottom of the daily profile. Well, that profile took hold. So now we've got a new benchmark level to watch, both to the upside and to the downside. The downside's 44.18. The upside is 44.44. Likely, I would say price is more likely than not to test 44.18 versus 44.44. And that's because the spot volatility still remains above its 50-day exponential moving average. That is printing at 17.51, and the spot fix is at 17.88. So watch for downside action. If you take a look at the NQ, just in the typical consolidation, and this is a very narrow consolidation, sort of narrow, it goes between 14.919 and 15.136. And what we know about the NQ, it does that range move on a daily basis, or at least it has the last two out of three sessions. The U.S. dollar index finding its mojo. It is trading above descending trend line, top of its weekly profile, which is 93.19, and that's suggesting that it wants to continue to move higher. Gold holding up pretty well, but still dealing with the counter trend resistance level of the bottom of its daily profile, and that's at the 1786 level. Silver pulling back but still just testing the support area of its bullish structure. That's between 2305 and 2343. So silver is actually, I'd call it stronger than Goldilocks here from a profile standpoint. Silver should make its run to the 2419 level. Light sweet crude is breaking down. It's uh, about uh, second day below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile, below some trend line. That suggests lower price out here. Natural gas looks like day number two below the bottom of its profile. That suggests a further move lower. And 30-year treasury just moving sideways, but trading above the top of its profile. So it remains bullish. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. If you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one, and we'll see you soon. The reality is that now.